Hello everyone, it's uh, Press to Play here again, and I thought I would share this with you, which is the uh, the Beatles collection, and this was a box set that came out in the United States and the UK in, I believe, 1978. And I also have a video of the EP collection, which I believe came out in 1981. So if you'd like to check that video out, you can go back and and uh, and find it. It's in my it's on my channel. But uh, I th thought I would share this with you as well. Um, so this is quite old. And I'm a little disappointed because this box set was in excellent condition. And I haven't looked at it in, oh my goodness, a few years now. So while, and this is the sad thing about these older items, over time, um, unless you're in like, you know, really, you know, the humidity and, and all that stuff. And the storage is very important. But sadly it has cracked a lot so when i pulled it out i was really disappointed because you can start seeing like all these it's starting to wear away the outer casing is all starting to get really dry and crack you can see how it's starting to come apart it's still intact thank goodness but that's uh, i was really devastated when i saw that when i pulled it out i was like oh no because it was an excellent uh condition for years uh anyway it happens. These are old box sets. This is from 1978. I'm just glad to have it. Anyway, these um, these were blue boxes with gold lettering. I had the Beatles names down here, of course. And uh, let's take a look at the albums. Hopefully the albums are still in good condition. Very heavy box set, but that's really sad. That really disappointed me when I opened this set. I'm going to be very careful with it. This opens up similar to the... Uh, EP box set. I'm just going to grab these albums and take them out. I'm just really sad about the box. Uh, it happens. It happens. And I'm not sure what sleeve that belongs to either. I'm going to have to check that out. But we'll see what condition uh, the albums are in. Hopefully they're in better condition than the box. And again, you can start seeing the wear and tear. And these were stored away in a dark closet. So I haven't taken this out in a long time. Anyway, it comes with the Beatles Rarities album. You can see the set list. What's kind of cool about this one is that it comes with the two songs that the Beatles released in German. Um, she Loves You and I Want to Hold Your Hand. So they, have, they sing it in German, which is really, really, really cool. So that comes with the, bear, the uh, Beatles Rarities album. We'll just quickly take out the album so I can show it to you here. So it's on the Parlophone label. This is the British release. The albums themselves are in mint condition, so I'm happy about that. It's just the box. So what I may have to do is go looking for a another box set, and then it just replace the just replace the box. But made in Great Britain. So this is the UK version. I don't know where I'm going to put these, <laughs> put these down here for now. With the Beatles, what's kind of cool about these records too is that they all come with a glossy cover and they're very thin, like the albums themselves, especially the cover. It was very, very, very thin back then. So they weren't as sturdy as the American releases, I believe, but very glossy. And here's with the Beatles. On the Parlophone label, and again, the albums themselves are in mint condition. I don't think they've ever been played. I've never played them in all the years I've had this, so happy about that. At least the albums look good for the most part. Please Please Me, nice glossy cover again. Here's the back. And again, like very thin covers. Like very th flimsy. Here's the Parlophone label again. And no signs of warping or anything. The records themselves, the vinyl is in mint condition so far. And the album albums are in good condition as well. The jackets and the inner sleeves and whatnot. So I'm happy about that. I just think it's cool they all came shiny and glassy like that. A Hard Day's Night. back again that glossy cover 
and the album. They all look the same. I'm just checking to see if any have been warped over the years. Everything looks really good. And Revolver. And again, the nice shiny cover on the front. There's the inner sleeve, nothing fancy. Again, there's Parlophone label. Rubber sole. Again, they all have that really nice shiny. I, I like it, the shiny cover on them. Looks nice. And oh, this came with another. So some of them come in these the better sleeves here. I don't know what that's all about. But again, this looks in really good condition. I think, if I remember right, I bought this set in Chicago way back in the 80s. And I've never played it. And I've just stored it away. And I've only taken out maybe a handful of times over the years. And the box was in beautiful shape. So I was really sad when I took it out to make the video and I saw how much it has kind of gone downhill in the last little while. I can get this in here again. There we go. Beetles for sale. And it's shiny on both sides. That's kind of cool. A little bit of lifting on the side there, but it looks in really good. And again, look at how flimsy that cover is, right? It's really interesting. So a really flimsy cardboard cover on, on this one. And the album comes out the side here, if I can get it out. Let's do a quick check on this one too, but everything looks really good. I just think it's cool that they all had those glossy covers back then, those really kind of flimsy covers. It's neat. Uh, again, the shiny glossy cover here. Help by the Beatles. And we'll, yeah, I'll show, show you the records, why not? So again, the Parlophone label here. Yellow Submarine is next. Nothing is real. Really nice shiny cover. Oh. It's stuck to Abbey Road. Here's the back. This one's a little bit warped. Not the record, but the cover. And that's on the Apple label. It's kind of neat. Something different. And then there's Abbey Road, of course. Back. Let's see what the label is on. Yeah, it's an Apple label as well. Very nice. Again, I don't think these records have ever been played. And this album, the glue, uh, yeah, starting to come apart a little bit. Oh, that's too bad as well. I don't want to damage it anymore. I'm going to be very careful how I'm going to do this. Hmm. This is the problem with these old records. That one's starting to come apart there, if you can see. It's just age. These are old box sets and old records. There's uh, the Let It Be again, nice shiny cover on it. The back, back is also glossy. So both sides are glossy on Let It Be. It's kind of nice. I like them glossy like that. And that's on the Apple label as well. Love that album. Okay, 
and next is Sergeant Pepper. Again, I just love those those glossy covers. And it's glossy on the back as well on this one. You can see that or not, but it's really shiny. Really nice, vibrant colors there too. That's just beautiful. And this is kind of cool because the album's on this side, not this side. And this is quite sturdy, but it's all glossy. So it's all shiny on the inside as well, on the outer sleeve and on the, the back. And we'll see if it comes with the cutouts. I can't remember if it does. I'm hoping. Mm, I don't see them in here. So either they're missing or it didn't come with it. I'm, I'm assuming they're missing. Okay, so that's on the Parlophone label. That's too bad. So no cutouts, but again, like a flimsy cover. And there's no cutouts in there. But again, the, yeah, they all, they're, they're just flimsy. Like they're not sturdy like they are today. But I like that shiny, glossy cover on these. Even the white album is all shiny. It's got the, you start seeing the discoloration there a little bit. Shiny on the other side as well. And shiny on the inside. You hear the crackles. You see it's starting to get discolored a bit. And this does come with the photographs, I'm happy to say. Yep, and there they all go, yelling and flying out. But they're in excellent condition. Look at that. And they're all glossy as well. And uh oh, where's Paul? He's there. Don't worry. Don't panic. Paul is okay. <laughs> there is Paul. So they, they're a little glossy as well. High quality. Really nice photo. So I'm glad that those are there. I'm going to put those in last. And that's on the Apple label. And again, all glossy um, front, back, and on the inside as well. I'm going to very gently put these back in here. I don't know, I'm missing the Surgeon Pepper Cutto. That's kind of sad. I'm a little disappointed with that. But it looks good. And I'll show you the other. Yes, and it does come with the insert. So it comes with this. And what is that? Wait a minute. So that is the poster. I don't want to damage it, so I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but the lyrics on the other side. And that all opens up. It's very nice. And this, oh, wow. Cool, cool, cool. So a full-size poster. I don't remember this. Of the, uh, you can see all that. That's beautiful. Wow, and this is in excellent condition. So even though my box is falling apart, I got a really good clean set. And this is on the Apple label as well. So I feel a little better because the albums themselves are all in mint condition. I don't see any anything wrong with them. There's no warping or anything. The albums themselves, except for, what was that one again? Uh, Abbey Road, maybe, that was starting to come apart a bit. I really like those glossy covers. We'll just quickly go through them again. Let it be. I just like the, uh, the feel of that. Abbey Road, again, with the glossy front and back. And yellow submarine. You got help. Hope you can see these okay. Uh, Beatles for sale. You got rubber sole. I just love the shiny covers. Revolver. I know I've said that a million times, but I really do. Hard Day's Night. You got Please Please Me uh, with the Beatles. And the really cool Rarities album, which has got some sign of wear there as well but it's good the only sad part is the box that's starting to deteriorate and starting to um brittle it's, it's getting very brittle it's starting to break ah it's too bad but i'm glad the records are in good shape anyway 
anyway, bring this back. So there is the Beatles collection. And this was again released in 1978 on Parlophone. And I, I haven't seen the US version of this. I'm assuming Capitol Records, but uh, yeah, it's a beautiful uh, box set. And if you can find one with the really, with the box in good condition, storage is everything. Um, I don't know what to recommend. I had mine in a, in a dark, cool place for decades. And it was always in great condition until uh, I just pulled it out now and started to see it starting to crack and break. It's what happens as it's what age does, including our bodies. <laughs> anyway, take really good care of yourselves. Uh, thank you for coming by and visiting my channel. If you do like the content, uh, don't forget to subscribe. And if you click on the bell, you'll be notified when I do post new content. And, uh, and thanks for visiting. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.